Hello, it's Jason Pan with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm back at the beautiful community of the Cross Vine in Church, Texas. And the reason I'm here is because the house behind me is getting ready to close in two weeks for one of my clients. So this is going to be my last new construction follow-up tour of this house. This is a David Weekly home, the Darby plan. So if you're looking for the pricing and specs of this house, go to the David Weekly website and check out the Darby plan. All right, let's go check out the video tour of this house. All right, quite a big has been going on with this house. They're almost ready. We got landscapers out here putting sod in right now, but it is the, I believe around July 29th, 2021, as I'm filming this. So a little more construction still going on, but uh, loving the colors of this house. And I'm so far just a brief walk through loving the inside, but don't take my word for it. Let's head on inside and check it out. Of course, you're gonna have some beautiful sitting areas right out for side. Loving the stonework on it. And this is a three car garage, upgraded shingle on the roof. And look at this beautiful door. Much better than those builder doors that we had last time I did this video. All right, first thing you notice, these floors just jump right out at you. I love it, it's a very clean look. Still tall ceilings. My fixture needs to be cleaned out a little bit, but they'll take care of that. They got two weeks before they close on this house. Your guest bedroom, first guest bedroom with a full bath right up front. Same flooring. Loving the color selection they did. Very cool. Yeah, it's crazy timing me coming out here. My One of my past clients, their daughters and my daughter now get along. So they're out at the Crossvine pool, enjoying a pool day. So it's a really neat having that available to you right around the corner. Your flex space could be your office, could be a media room. I did not turn the light on because I've not previewed this house yet. I mean, completely, there we go. I see they've got it blocked for using it as a media room. So you got your pass through on the wall to hide the wires. Very neat and very elegant French doors. All right, before we do the main living space, I'm gonna show you the uh, utility room coming in right in from the three car garage. Loving the tile selection, cabinets, very cool. And so this is the door coming in from the garage. Like I said, I have not previewed this house. So of course, there's gonna be its toilet seat up. There we go. All right, now I can show it. So you do have your powder room tucked away. Still going with the kind of a dark and white light color pattern. Let's check out this garage. Big three car garage. Plum for water softener. And you've got an additional little flex space here for these two bedrooms that are tucked away on this wing of the house. So perfect if you have those kiddos and you wanted to have them having kid world over here, they can have their own little TV and couch, play video games, well, whatever kids do. And they will have their own full bath sharing these bedrooms. All right, toilet seat back down again, but a uh, really nice setup. The same light fixtures, really nice. Those two, uh, the second and third bedroom back here. Just a good size room, tall ceilings. And the other bedroom, kind of a mirror of the last one, just a little different shaped closet. But it's cool having this little flex space here. Let me just back up so you can get a better view of it. So there you go, there's this whole kid zone area. Now we can come into the main living space. Right off the bat, you have a really beautifully done kitchen. See, they're still waiting for the stove. 
for the, the oven there. Could we have a gas range? Ooh, they got a pot filler. That's kind of neat. Beautiful tile work going up along the vent. Tall, tall cabinets. And what I'm looking at out here, this used to be kind of just drainage area. But, and I'm gonna show this a little more when we go outside, but they've been working on it. I've been asking, trying to find out what's going on out there. And I'm hoping my answer, their answer is we're gonna build another pond, which be really awesome for my clients who are buying this house to have this beautiful pond right out their back porch in their sink. Speaking of sinks, love this uh, upgraded farm sink. There's a lot of touches in this house that's really neat. So yes, that's what I suspected. That's gonna be your pantry. Uh, trying to see if there's gonna be any doors on this at all or how that's gonna work. I don't know. Have to ask, find out how they're gonna do that. Be kinda of cool if it was a little barn door pantry. Anyways, digging the lights. You do have your breakfast nook slash formal dining room area. Like I said, just can't get over how much I like these floors. You do have the David Weekly feature of having win some windows uh, in this area not go all the way down, just in case you wanna put some piece of furniture right there. You're not blocking the windows and it kind of goes in real nicely. Got an extra little computer hutch area, kind of neat. And then we come into the whole living space area. we beautifully done rock fireplace. Taking it all the way up to the ceiling. And I can see that they've got it pre-wired for speakers too. So yeah, we got the pre-wires, the pass-throughs. This house is ready to go. Before we go check that out, let's go look at the back porch. Beautiful day. Well, it's kind of hot. It's about 92 degrees here at the end of uh, July, which ain't bad for this part of time of the year. But man, I'm hoping that this they're, what they're doing here is turning into a big pond. I'm gonna make some phone calls to find out because that'd be super cool. And then this space here is, uh, I found out, uh, breaking news here, that the Crossvine is going to be expanding on the other side. This is Woman's Hollering Creek. Per I love that name, but uh, that's gonna be expanding and uh, there's gonna be another side over there hopefully um, start selling in January, February time span. But they're working on putting in some roads and stuff, so that'd be kind of cool too. Oh, more speakers pre-wired. You yeah, have nice surround sound already built in. All right, let's check out this big, big master bedroom with lots of cool light. So they've got the blinds already installed. And these new blinds, there is no big pull string. So you basically just pull down and push up. Kind of neat. All right. Love the extra sitting area right there. And let's check out this bathroom. Hi, I'm Victoria, and I'm here with James, aka Simon. I don't know what that was all about. My podcast just started off on my phone. All right, here is the owner suite. I need to straighten one of those lights. But check out the super shower. That's what David Weekly likes to call when they do these showers. The high-end upgraded spigots, 
love the look of this. We'll step up because it is a mud, I mean it is inset into the foundation. This is just a linen closet there, no need to open that up. Oh man, this is super cool. They really put all the bells and whistles into this Darby plan. Or is it a Duval? Oh crap, now I'm forgetting, I think it's a Darby plan. It's a tough name to remember. I keep wanting to say either Duval or Darby. But yeah, this is a good sized closet. Got your shoe rack, your long dresses rack, and then everything in between. Yeah, this is a Darby plan. All right. One last look of this area. Refrigerator will come in soon. All right, that's gonna wrap up a tour of the Darby plan built by David Weekly in the Crossvine community. This is a beautiful home. I do believe this is the largest single story plan that David Weekly makes. Could be wrong, but I think that's true. But uh, if you're getting stationed at Lackland, surprisingly enough, this is only about a 28 minute drive from Lackland Air Force Base. We are literally located right behind Randolph. So those dual military, this is a great community. And I'm happy to see they're gonna have a new section opening up, but that's not gonna happen. They're gonna start selling in January. I would expect to be about this time next year before you actually move into that new house. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up the tour today. Thanks again for watching my videos. Feel free to share them with everybody and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, talk to you soon. Take care, bye.